had this like sporadic wave. <laughs> We're whooping it up because my friend Whoopi is back and we, we are looking very festive today. Yes, very festive. Uh, Whoop, yours has bells and everything. Yes. Man. This is, this is our um, ugly Christmas sweater party. That's right. And that's how we're throwing down. That's right. Mine has a zipper. <laughs> yes. Now, yes. is this part of the collection, by the way? Yes, this is absolutely part of the collection. And I've, I've brought you another one, because you don't. You I brought don't... me a very special one? Yes, I have. Now, we are, of course, wearing our ugly Christmas sweaters, but it's for a reason. These are actually Whoopi's design, yes. her own label of limited edition. <laughs> Here's the one I'm wearing right in the middle. Why did you start a line of ugly Christmas sweaters? <laughs> because I always wear them. You know, I've, yeah. I've done The View for the last 10 years, and I always, they just make me happy. <laughs> and so I thought, because I'd seen some, and I'd had some over the years, and the quality kind of changed, and I, I, I wasn't as happy, so. Well, most of us have I, to go vintage, and they're like a, a, acrylic and they're itchy, weird. And some of them are smelly, yeah. let's just be honest. Yes. And I love your label. Look at that label. It's wow. a piece of artwork, just the In label. Case, I'm not sure. Yeah, but that's why I did it because I just I wanted a, a, a very specific quality and I wanted it to have a little more fun and I wanted it to be a little more inclusive. So what? Uh, uh, my, <laughs> did you see the octopus menorah? Yes, yes. And I, there's one with a little kid in a yarmulke hanging Christmas balls on a tree. Yeah, <laughs> because most people are. Multi That's uh, right. religional. That's right. You know, <laughs> Multi religional. I, yeah, I made it up. I mean, <laughs> and I just feel like everybody, a holiday should include everybody, you know? Oh! Yeah. Now, it's Gingerbread Boogeyman! Do you see the back, though? They're anatomically correct. They have little butts. Yes. I, I love this. This makes me so happy. See? That's the idea. So, you don't understand how I get my game on at the holidays. Yeah. I decorate nine trees. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. I start listening to Christmas music the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. <laughs> See, now, I, now, I can't does, do it. I can't, can't do, do it until, not until... Uh, not until the end of the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Once okay, I see Santa, fine. then I know that the new holiday then has begun. Then and it's then okay. it's game on. And it's game on. Game on. Do you know... <laughs> I... I am going to have John make you your own holiday mix. My husband makes me a four-hour holiday mix every single year. Now, we're old enough to appreciate mixed yes. tapes, right? Yes, we are. <laughs> How else do you roll in the holidays? What are some of your other family holiday traditions? Well, I, it's the only time I cook, uh, Thanksgiving and for Christmas. My mother used to start the turkey at 9 p.m. And she before. would roast mm -hmm. all night on like wow. 280. Wow. And so that when you woke up, it the smelled. house smelled oh. like the turkey. And it smelled, because I can only do live trees, so it also smelled <laughs> like the tree. And so, so pine yes, it, and it's slow yeah. roast turkey. Oh. And so it's like the family is. Uh, my mom is with me and my big brother because that was our. That was that was the thing. Because oh. it's what I. It's what I grew up That's with. That's right. Yeah. And so it because the holidays mean to me that it's a comfort place. Because I, when I was a kid, uh, what was it? great broadcaster, Walter Cronkite. Oh, I, I the holidays love Walter Cronkite. Would say... As a child, yes. I was obsessed with him. Yes. I loved him. I loved his voice. He yes. made me feel so secure. Yes, and he would say, and it was during Vietnam, he would say, you know, tonight, uh, there's no one's fighting tonight. Hmm. And for me, as a child, I just thought, oh, okay. It's okay. And so that's what I try to... I try to give my great granddaughter and my, and my grandkids just say like tonight this is peace. this is us we're at peace tonight and we're, at peace we're not and fighting we have each other. and no matter what you know and that's what the holidays are it really does bring out the best in, in everyone no matter what the holiday yeah. you celebrate and also Luke you know I, I try to remind people you know 
it's okay to give kids as many crazy things as you want to because they're not, they don't get to be kids as long as we got to be kids. That's right. So I feel like spoil the hell out of them. Spoil them. Make and I fun. love stuff you can play with. Like, yes. I'll look at the list for Santa yes. and see if I can help out Santa, yes. certainly. Um, or Hanukkah Harry. Yes. Uh, but I think it's great to give kids the stuff that I loved when I was a kid. I had an erector set. Yes. Like the little boys I'm did. I'm so I glad you it. said it like that. Yes. Yeah. But see now, I, because in those days there were only three networks, you know, and, and mm -hmm. you had Channel 11, which ran the Yule Law. Yeah. You know? I still so love the Yule Law. I, I have to say, I there are 14,000 channels, I go to the Yule Law. <laughs> and I have a fireplace, but there is something, something Talk about it. It's about something the one, Yule Yeah, Log. because it, you know, look, I, Life is really rough for so many people. <laughs> That's right. And I just, I just want to do stuff during the holidays. I try to do it all year round, but the holidays, everyone seems to be paying attention. So I try to make something silly, make somebody smile, do something nice for somebody. I, I just, I love it. It's, it's, it's so sweet. It's all I have, baby. You know? I'm going to give the heck out of these, too. They're so fun. They're fun.